Hey guys, it's Flamebird here from SSL Gaming. I'm playing Arkaden Team Deathmatch. I recently looked on Call of Duty Elite. I thought I played about 14 hours on Team Deathmatch out of my 18, 20 hours of actually playing this game. But uh, in this game, you see me using the M4. Uh, I actually, and I'm level 33. I actually reached level 80, and I have gold for the M4, SCAR, and MP5. You don't believe me, I'll show you. Uh, actually, it's a good idea. I'll do a little uh, getting to level 80, uh, show you my classes and kills and ranks, all that, that good stuff. But, um... Anyways, I'm not really here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about a few things actually, and uh, one of those things is I haven't made a video in a while, mainly because, um, well, a big reason is I was on vacation for this past week. I was in Colorado. Uh, yeah. But another thing is, like a few days before that week, I was trying to do a commentary with Austin, and uh, he's such a procrastinator. I'm not trying to like be mean to him or anything. But, you know, he really is a procrastinator, and he knows it. But, for a while, I was trying to do a commentary with him, and be like, uh, we'll do it tomorrow, and I'd be like, alright, we'll do it tomorrow. Next day, we'll do it tomorrow, and be like, alright, we'll do it tomorrow. This, this went on until, uh, I went into vacation. I'm alright with that. That made me learn something. Um, I can't always rely on other people to, to help me with stuff. I have to get off my ass, in other words, and go do it for myself. But, you know, that, that really does uh, help me. But, you know, you're human and you make mistakes, so. And it's better to learn earlier than later. Like, right now, I only have 100 subs, which is which is good. Uh, but at least I don't have 1,000 subs and I'm doing that. You know what I mean? Uh, or even 10,000. You know, people, people with that much subs, they have to be consistent, which, um... You know, I'm fine with this, just sometimes with, with these games, you know, you feel so pressured into getting a gameplay, and it doesn't always work out, uh, especially with MW3. This this game, um, I don't know how to put it, 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 it really does rely on host in this game, it really does seem like that. And um, another thing is the maps, how the maps are laid out. Uh, it, you have to kind of adapt to these maps, which I've done so um, a few times. It worked out for me, but you know, I'm still still trying to get used to these maps, um, and uh, it'll take time. It, you know, I'm not used to adapting very well because the rest of these Call of Duties, uh, COD 4 to Black Ops, the map layout were were the map layouts were similar. Now this one they completely just change it to uh, fast paced game mode, which I'm fine with. But um, you know when a game heavily relies on connection, it's it's hard. It, it really is. And uh, you know, I was talking to Austin yesterday, and uh, he, we were playing Battlefield 3. It's like, hey, why don't you record some of this and post it on YouTube? I was like, all right. And five minutes later, I thought about it, and I was like, you know what? If I did do that, I would start talking really bad about M33. And here I am talking really bad about M33. So I don't think it matters, but... Um, you know... W when you start to realize you're g a game is bad, and it just came out... But I also think... Like, before I go on with that... I also think that, um, Black Ops lowered our expectations for Call of Duty. And, uh, you know... This game is gonna... Go on, and it really isn't... It really isn't that great, though. Uh, the campaign isn't. The campaign is too short, too simple, right to the point, and I don't like that. You know, I wish I want them to keep you on an edge. Like, what's gonna happen next? You pretty much know what's gonna happen next. Pr very predictable campaign. Um, what else? The the multiplayer. Like I said, it really does heavily lack. Um, rely on, rely on the the connection, being a host, or being someone that you that like me and my brother. We we live in the same house, so you know we have 
the same connection and if he's host I'm pretty much host if I'm a host he's pretty much host but you know it's it's really a little really ridiculous um, another thing is like I said the map layouts they're way too close quarter I like the fast pace and you know team deathmatch people camp too much though another thing um, but when you play like at the beginning of this game I didn't like kill confirmed but when I actually started to play it um, you now I realized something that, that people don't camp as much and you can't camp in there otherwise you'll lose and there's no point in losing when uh... cause really um, with kill confirmed it, you get fifty points for getting a kill and then fifty points for getting the dog, the dog tags in uh... team deathmatch you get a hundred points for getting the kill so they split it up where it's like um, you want your full kill and full points and you want to win you have to stop camping and go get these guys dogs tag dog tags which I like um, but I also hate when people puppy guard dog tags but 27 and 11 I uh, hope you guys enjoyed I'll be posting a video tomorrow probably ACDC monkeys commentary peace out guys